I couldn't believe what had happened last night, but none of that seemed to matter now. The word, follow, echoed in my weary mind, a command I had no choice but to obey. As I stood there, confusion clouding my thoughts, I tried to piece together the events leading up to this surreal moment. The memories slowly started to come back. Last night, my friends Aaron, Stephen, and I had gone out to party. But things had taken a bizarre turn when Aaron mysteriously disappeared. Stephen and I had gone searching for him, only to find ourselves captured and forced into some strange ordeal. I watched in disbelief as Aaron, now in a tight, dark pink swimsuit that contrasted with his masculine frame, greeted me warmly and urged me not to resist. Panic began to course through my hazy brain as I realized the gravity of our situation. More memories flooded in, like a jigsaw puzzle falling into place. Stephen, too, had been squeezed into a lighter pink swimsuit, his protests falling on deaf ears. The world around us felt like a bizarre, alternate reality where we were at the mercy of forces beyond our understanding. As much as I wanted to resist, the compelling command to follow remained irresistible, pulling me deeper into this bewildering situation. Aaron led the way, his confident strides echoing the surreal nature of the night. I couldn't help but notice how snugly that dark pink swimsuit clung to his body, accentuating his toned physique. It was strange to see him in such an outfit, and I couldn't shake the unsettling juxtaposition of his masculinity with the girlish attire. As we walked, I couldn't help but admire the confidence with which Aaron carried himself. His posture, the way he moved, and the unabashed way he flaunted his new attire left me both envious and perplexed. It was as if he had embraced the absurdity of our situation and made it a part of him. Though I was still in shock, I began to realize that there was something beyond just the swimsuits that had changed. The world we had entered had its own set of rules, and following the voice seemed to be the only way to navigate it. I couldn't resist the curiosity to see where this peculiar path would lead us, even though I couldn't fully understand the purpose of it all. With every step I took, the tight embrace of the swimsuit against my body became more familiar, and a strange sense of comfort settled in. The initial discomfort and confusion started to give way to a bizarre feeling of acceptance. It was as if the swimsuit was a part of me, molding to my form and transforming my perception of self. As I followed Aaron, the realization slowly dawned on me that something extraordinary was happening. The very fabric of the swimsuit seemed to have a subtle, transformative effect. My body felt lighter, my movements more graceful, and my self-consciousness began to fade away. I could feel a subtle shift in my own appearance, as if the swimsuit was working its magic on me. The absurdity of the situation, the fear, and confusion were still there, but an odd sense of beauty and confidence started to emerge. It was as if the swimsuit had unlocked a hidden potential within me making me feel more alluring and graceful, despite my initial resistance. As we stepped outside, the world seemed to transform around us. The familiar streets and buildings shifted, as if they had never been the same before. It was as if the city itself was part of this bewildering metamorphosis. People passed by, but their reactions were not what we expected. No one seemed to notice that we had once been men. It was as though our new appearance, now resembling confident and beautiful women, had erased our previous identities from the memories of those around us. The world, it seemed, had adapted to our altered presence. Strangers smiled and greeted us warmly, as if they had known us for years. It was surreal and almost dreamlike, and I couldn't help but be captivated by the newfound acceptance and admiration that came our way. Aaron, Stephen, and I shared bewildered glances as we navigated this world, once our own but now transformed beyond recognition. The power of the swimsuits had not only changed our physical appearances but had seemingly rewritten our entire history. We were no longer the men we once were, we had become women, and the world had reshaped itself to match this new reality. Life in our transformed state continued to be both fascinating and perplexing. We had become women, and our friends and family accepted us as though we had always been part of their lives in this form. Our loved ones never questioned our past identities as men, as if those memories had evaporated into thin air. It was as if we had seamlessly integrated into our new lives as females, picking up where we left off in our relationships. 
We carried on with our friendships and relationships, all the while concealing the bewildering journey that had led us to this point. For Aaron, the transformation seemed to have unleashed a sense of liberation. His interactions with his family and friends became more open and heartfelt. He blossomed into a confident, radiant woman who shared her thoughts and feelings with newfound authenticity. Stephen, too, embraced his new life with enthusiasm. The once reserved man now found himself in lively conversations with friends, connecting on a deeper level, and discovering a side of himself that had remained hidden for so long. As for myself, I found the experience of living as a woman to be both empowering and surreal. The world seemed to view me through a different lens, and I reveled in the newfound freedom of expression, savoring every moment of this inexplicable transformation. Despite the questions that lingered in our minds, we cherished the bonds we had with our family and friends. The acceptance, love, and support we received only reinforced the idea that this was our new reality, and we were determined to make the most of it. Our lives had taken an unexpected and enigmatic turn, and we were learning to navigate this brave new world, embracing the beauty, strength, and authenticity that had emerged with our newfound identities.